Hey, Sam. Um, Miguel, go ahead. Hey, hi, Sam. This is your third game of the season with three or more touchdowns. Uh, would you say this was, this was your best game in the season so far? Um, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, I don't like to compare games, but uh, I think we, we started a little bit offensively uh, to kind of get things going. And our, our defense played a great game. That was probably the best I've seen those guys play. So credit those guys that kept us in the game. Um, but, yeah, I think – I wouldn't say. I think we, we, we definitely had some struggles again today on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I don't think we were able to move the ball as, as easy as we'd like to. Uh, so we definitely a lot of stuff we, we still got to clean up on offense. Isabella, go ahead. Hi, Sam. You kind of just touched on it, but you said earlier this week that ball security is like the key to winning football games. And even though you kept the ball safe today, the offense still kind of seemed to struggle. So why do you think that's the case? Uh, I just think we're just not playing consistent football. Uh, you know, like I kind of said during the week is you know, what we're seeing is on one, on when we have bad plays, it's usually just 10 guys doing their job and one guy's not. Um, that's leading to the inconsistency we're seeing. Um, so we really just got to be locked in. Everyone's got to do their job. It's not just going to happen because we're supposed to beat these guys by a lot. Uh, you know, you got to go out there and do your job on every single play. And if you don't, you know, they got, they got players on scholarship too. Uh, you know, they did, they, did, they did a pretty good job. They played hard. Um, they, they challenged us a lot with some air coverage and stuff. And when they got to struggle making some throws. We had some guys open downfield, and I got to make those throws. So we definitely, starting with me, we have a lot of stuff we can clean up. Andrew Jones. Hey, Sam, you had three centers snapping the ball uh, in the first half, really up to about the midpoint of the second quarter. How challenging is it to have different guys out there um, – Kieran, uh, Brian, and then, of course, uh, Caden with his first time at center. Uh, just kind of take us through how challenging that is. And when Kieran finally got out there, he was kind of established how much that may have helped you guys. You started moving the ball a lot around that time. Yeah, no, it's definitely different just because those guys are so much – those guys are all different. Uh, for us, the centers make a lot of calls from a communication standpoint. Um, they're asked to do a lot. So it definitely is a little different. Um, so – you know, yeah, it, it is a little different, a little harder to kind of get things going. We're moving guys in, in and out like that. But, you know, all three of those guys had a really good week of practice. Uh, I think Caden Baker had a really good week of practice. This is going to be his first time playing center in like four or five years. I thought he did a great job when he was out there. So, you know, really we're confident in all three of those guys, and they, they did they did their job today. Thanks. Appreciate that. Alyssa Ray. How have you seen Josh Downs grow as a player throughout this season? And how much confidence do you have in him? Even if he misses a player, drops a ball, it seems like you still have a lot of confidence in him. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's an unbelievable player. Um, everyone knows what he's capable of doing. They've seen it so far this year. And, you know, if he drops a ball, I'm going to keep going to him. Uh, you know, just it doesn't make him any less of a great player. And, you know, he, I think he had one or two drops a day. And, you know, I just kept going to, going to him. And he, and he kept making plays. Um, so, and, and he was open too, and I had some bad throws at times too. So, and we can definitely clean clean some stuff up. But now he's a great player, and he's only getting better. Greg Barnes, Sam also wanted to ask about uh, Kamar Morales. I think this is the third straight game that you've connected with him for a touchdown. Just to speak to his growth and what you like out of him at the tight end position. Yeah, no, Kamar is an awesome player. Uh, you know, he's, he works super hard. He's a professional. Um, you know, the way he prepares and how hard he works. You know, he stays after practice for about an hour every single day, you know, pushing the sled, working on his route, stuff like that, jugs machine. So he works super hard. Um, he's a super smart kid. You know, he's – if he wants to be a coach one day, he can definitely be a coach. He knows our, our whole entire offense. He knows why we're trying to do things. And at, at the tight end position, you really don't need to know what he knows and he knows it. So he just prepares so well. And, you know, I'm, I'm just glad we have him on our team. He's a great player for us. C.L. Brown. Sam, I was curious what your what your uh, process, your recovery process is like after games, because since you're running more this year uh, and maybe even getting hit more um, this year, uh, what kind of a toll is it taking physically, you know, the Sunday after a game, the Monday after a game? Yeah, that's a good question. It just kind of depends on the week, um, just how I feel. Uh, you know, I feel pretty good right now. Nothing's really bothering me. Um, but no, I definitely uh, I like to get in the crowd therapy thing, um, the, the crowd chamber. I think that does a pretty good job getting the cold tub. Uh, I'm just trying to do anything I can, whatever. Whereas little things kind of bothering me that week, I just try to treat it, you know, try to spend a lot of time on my body. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I just I feel pretty good right now. And uh, how can this game and this, this homestand coming up with Florida State and Miami um, 
how can this be maybe a springboard for you guys to, to maybe get back some of the confidence that was lost to, to, at Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's so much confidence. I think we're a confident team. We know what we're capable of doing. I think it's just we just got to play consistent. Uh, and I think we're playing well at home, so I'm glad we have these next two games at home because there's two really good teams coming to town. Uh, you know, Florida State's a team we struggled with last year on the offensive side of the ball, and we just got to make sure we, we come and play physical football because uh, I think they kind of – they play. They they, they out physical physical us last year in the first half, and you know we just gotta be ready to go. All right, we have time for one more for Sam, and that will come from Adam Smith. Sam Mack has uh, mentioned a couple times this season. He said it again today about you guys playing with pressure, and I mean I guess that comes with the expectations that you all had coming into this season. But I mean, do y'all talk about? I don't know trying to relax and have fun more is that a conversation at all in the locker room I mean like how, how do you how do you look at that and receive that when you hear that he, he says like you know maybe you've been playing with too much pressure on your shoulders as a group yeah we definitely talk about it a lot I, mean, I think we play our best football when we're just out there having fun man. and you know, what I just try to tell our guys I mean we're out there playing college football on a Saturday you know packed house and it don't get much better than that so just try to enjoy the moment man just do your job the best you can. Don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. Uh, you know, just do everything you can to help the team and just enjoy it. Um, you know, not many people get this opportunity. Uh, so definitely just take advantage of it and try to have fun with it. I think that's when we play our best football. You think that's happening, can happen more for you guys? Do you feel like it might might turn a corner there, so to speak? Yeah, I, th I thought um, – I kind of thought we were there after uh, week two and week three. I thought we were out there having fun. Um, obviously, we struggled last week at Georgia Tech. Uh, and everyone was kind of pressed the whole game um, once we were struggling. I just think we need to do a better job of when we're struggling, things not going well, just still being loose. I think when things aren't going well, we get kind of tight, and then that way we continue to struggle. Uh, so when things are going well, we need to do a better job. Just be ourselves, just relax, and just do your job. Thank you, man. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Sure.